Hello again and welcome to my creative African cooking channel in Dudu by Fafa. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, gorgeous people. Thank you all very much for your likes, your comments, your love. Me love you. Absolutely. How about this classic Ghanaian fried chicken? I mean, how can you have Christmas or New Year without this recipe? Now, of course, I've got my drumsticks. I got it from Sainsbury's. I got two packs and they came to four pounds. I've taken the tip off the drumsticks and I've washed it placed it in my clay bowl as you can see here and i've now added my blended ginger garlic and onion you will notice that i've omitted aniseed from this and there's a reason for it which i'll be explaining later but for now i'm adding my cassoua pepper because i'm going to be steaming this and the cassoua pepper has this aromatic flavor that's going to infuse into this chicken it's not any other food though. it's in dudu by fafa have you clicked the subscribe button yet if not what are you waiting for now talking about infusion guess what the next thing i'm going to add are my caraway seeds now this is the piece that is the stance absolutely the caraway seeds do have a pungent sort of anise-like flavor so if you don't have caraway seeds you most definitely can use your aniseed absolutely or star anise maybe may i say and yeah try cumin seeds yes absolutely just be creative whatever you want just do it it's your life it's your mouth and whatever you want to put in your mouth that be your business do you know what i mean mm -hmm. and of course i've added my salt to taste i'm mixing everything together till it's well combined and i've placed this on a medium heat of course i'm adding a little bit of water because i had to film this quickly for you guys you know i did say i made a promise so i'm gonna allow this to steam and of course i need the stock as well because i'll be using the stock for another recipe as you do it's christmas i mean <laughs> anyway of course i'm wiping my surfaces making sure everything is intact and je alomi mali nakai no be blow nya confie be won fe ke chef you eh se blow nya den de no ane se we your styles no shina ni ganza na me bua so after about 20 minutes i can see that this is just steamed through perfectly and i think that i'm just going to allow it to just cook for further like five minutes and i'm going to turn the heat off just so that it can set in that stock and it would absorb the flavors again now once i've done that I think it's now time for me to remove my chicken and i'm going to place it in the colander so i can get rid of any excess juice or moisture so i leave that to like air dry for about five minutes and then i place my wok on my medium to high heat add my preferred oil now this is recycled oil because it's like i fried some chicken bits before and um, i've just reserved it so i've combined everything together here and i'm using that um to fry now i'm going to show you a trick to just test if your oil is hot so grab a skewer a wooden skewer of course and insert it into the oil now immediately you see there are loads of bubbles coming out of the skewer then you know that your oil is perfect and that is what's happening here so now i'm going to transfer my air dried you know steamed chicken pieces to the oil which is hot and perfect now you'd notice that because i air dried it it's not splashing anywhere this is like a clean job Anyway, so we to be frying this absolutely until it's crispy on the outside but still moist in the middle and so you notice that i keep teasing it in the oil and of course the fact that i air dried it means that it's not splashing anywhere and it's just frying perfectly now if you like your chicken to be softer on the outside as well as of course moist within then this is the time you take it out 
because after five to six minutes of frying it just starts to brown and it's just so have if you want that crispy outer layer and it's still moist in the middle and you know packed with flavors of course naturally as you do then you'd have to let it fry for a further three to four minutes So right about now, this chicken is definitely crispy a la Indudu version Okemini. Look at that. And I love the fact that, you know, the chicken drumstick, they've got hips. And then their friend and Namno. I am doing well. I hope so. Now this is the pièce de résistance. So you get your shito and you drizzle your shito over this. You see, hot chicken drizzled with shito and it's got those caraway seeds that have been infused into that chicken. And you know the shito, you have to try my shito recipe. It's got that aniseed flavor and it's aromatic. So you now you're biting to a mouthful of Indudu's flavor packed dish. Hey, Idriane. This should make your Christmas menu. Definitely. Hey, look at it. Now I yen one logo logo line. Ah, decorate. Decorate on wala. Now come and talk book of one ma wa bell play clema mada jima do. Nanama kwe. Ah, ndudu of vi. Ah. Me what do the whole year? Christmas time, ah, he had me one amiato. Alo me mali, eh? What you need? Ah, but the end of the year, like that's an hard treat for if you. Oh, now she tough you, no love you. But when she bad talk on a kubokwe, but done mo she alo me mali, na make ano. Nyami dia bo, what dia drechi? Kaka akrafe no, ena akwa ba ba tu yibu mo no. Ntendi, yeah, yeah, na se de shina ne ganska kanso ede, ede a film. This is not any other food. Oh. This is in Dudu by far, far. Now you can serve this with a plethora of rice recipes that I do have, particularly this cumin rice recipe. Absolutely a must try. Now, naturally, I'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubaifafa.blogspot.com, so do check it out. I'd also leave a link to the shuttle recipe, which is the Ghanaian golden black chili sauce which is to die for as well in the description box so you can check that out most definitely you can also follow me on instagram snapchat facebook and twitter and in dudubai for far for more updates and i will be coming up with another recipe today the peers de resistance the ultimate one yeah please click that notification button if you haven't done so yet so you do not miss a thing thank you guys very much for your love your likes and all your comments and i love you for you i'll see you shortly yeah <laughs>